Every place I visit on the first day, I always like to walk and explore to really get a sense of the place. In Singapore, I started off in Chinatown visiting Tian Ho Kang Temple, a Chinese temple built in 1828. I then meandered toward downtown to the Jubilee Walk, which takes you through landmarks celebrating Singapore's past, present, and future. The Jubilee Pedestrian Bridge, which was built in 2015 to celebrate Singapore's Golden Jubilee, affords you gorgeous views of the marina, including that Marina Sands Hotel with the boat-shaped sky park that's 57 stories above the city. Walked across the bridge to Merline Park with its famous half lion, half fish statue. It's vomiting on my head! I backtracked to walk along the waterfront and get a drink atop the Marina Sands. If you pay 20 bucks for the rooftop restaurant Say La Vie, you can apply that toward a cocktail. The observation deck just below it charges $23 and you don't get a cocktail. Afterward, it was on to Gardens by the Bay to visit the Super Tree Grove in the hopes I could walk that aerial walkway that's 72 feet above the ground, but unfortunately the attraction was closed due to heavy rain. For my second day, I had a couple of tours lined up. The first was at the Singapore Zoo, whose 69 acres features over 300 species of animals in open air enclosures. My favorite exhibit was a rainforest, which let you walk among the animals and it had flying foxes soaring over your head. You also had the option of brunching with the orangutans, but I opted for cozying up to the statue of zoo mascot Ah Ming. My next tour was a Chinatown food tour by Singapore City Explorers. Our guide showed us the wet markets of the neighborhood where they sell live animals for the eating, like frogs, turtles, and eels. Of course, there was plenty of food on the tour, and we got to try the top 10 most popular dishes that are sold at the Chinatown hawker stalls, including the chicken rice. We also visited and learned about historical spots in Chinatown, which has a mix of Baroque and Victorian architectures and religious spots like the Suri Mayaman Temple, the city's oldest Hindu temple with its six tiers of Hindu deities. For day three, I actually hopped on the MRT, the city subway, for a short ride to Vivo City, where I then hiked a little over half a mile on a circuit of staircases to Faber Peak with gorgeous views of Sentosa Island and the cable cars. And from the peak to Henderson Waves, it was a short 10 minute stroll, very leisurely. The popular pedestrian bridge, which was unveiled in 2008, is in the shape of undulating waves, and it's 118 feet above the ground. It's comprised of steel arches and curved slats of dense hardwood sourced from Southeast Asia. Check out that view. So now we're at Henderson Waves at the Southern Ridge hiking trail seems to be a very popular selfie spot, so I don't feel too weird, but um, it's nice and quiet. I definitely could have used more time in Singapore, but I feel like I fit in a good amount with just the three days I had. <laughs> 